I got me a Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale series Renegade Shadow. Let's crack him open. <laughs> Greetings, Toy Heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastered Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale series, Renegade Shadow. I uh, picked this up off of Amazon. Uh, well, I had it on pre-order from Amazon uh, for a few weeks. Um, they seem to get, get it. Um, Hasbro Pulse has had it. Uh, but uh, Amazon, I tend to try to get them on Amazon because I get free shipping because I got Prime. Um, and Hasbro Pulse's shipping tends to be a little more than it really needs to be. So I got this uh, for the same price it is on Pulse, uh, but with uh, free shipping. So uh, so let's take a look at him. Um, again, I know nothing about uh, the, the Fortnite game. I never played it. I need to play it. I do have it installed. One of these days I'm going to break down and, and get it. I might do a live stream. But... Um, I do know this. They they make some cool looking characters, and this, in my opinion, is definitely one of them. Um, you got the Fortnite logo up here on uh, at the top. Got the artwork of uh, Renegade Shadow. Know nothing about him other than he looks really cool. Um, and then you got the actual picture of the figure down here, Renegade Shadow. Uh, QR code to scan for something, maybe for the game. I have no idea. Epic Games logo, Hasbro logo. Um, up here on the top, uh, we've got 8 Plus uh, Fortnite Victory Royale series. Uh, on the semi side, uh, we've got a picture of the accessories, which is would be his back bling, which looks like it's a couple of rockets because his, his gun's like a rocket gun, and his uh, harvesting tool, which is an axe. I just thought it looked really cool. Um, and then um, here on the back... We've got a picture of the figure again uh, with, um, I'm not sure exactly what all of that is. Um, uh, different languages. Uh, I'm, I may be talking about the accessories. And a picture of the accessories. Um, down here, uh, Jibbery Jabbery Legal Jargon, the Fortnite logo, Epic Games, Hasbro, uh, Recycle. Uh, and then uh, over here on the side side, uh, we've got uh, more Jibbery Jabbery Legal Jargon. Oh, there it is. Age restriction warning, ages 0 to 3, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. And then on the bottom, we've got more jibbery-jabbery legal jargon, houses of Klingon, and barcode! And we're ready to go. Let's get trusty out. And last this open. Uh, okay, put Trusty away, and we will pop this open. Got this a couple days ago. Been uh, waiting to, for a chance that I could do a review on it. Um, just like the others, pull out the... Oh, and there's the accessories in the tissue paper. Uh, mm, this one's in a slightly different, more different configuration. This is another windowless packaging. Um, this is my second windowless packaging figure from Hasbro. Um, I need to do I need to do a, uh, an an episode um, about windowless packaging. I have not yet done that. Um, my opinions on it, which will probably some I don't know. I can tell you this much. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it, really. Um, I don't want to go into too too much detail on it because I do want to make a video about it. But uh, I mean, I will say I feel for um, I, f I feel for box collectors on it. Definitely, uh, people like unlike me who do not open. Um, nothing wrong with that. That they do that. Absolutely. Oh, did I tear that? No, I didn't. Um, nothing wrong with keeping keeping them in the package and displaying them. Absolutely, nothing wrong with that. Because it this hobby it is all about fun. And if you're if you're doing this and you're not having fun, then you're either doing it wrong or there's just something about it that's that's not making it fun for you. You should try to find the fun in everything, especially when it comes to collecting action figures. Uh, so uh, we've got him out, and he's all ready to be on the pedestal.
Okay, here we've got him out on the pedestal, and uh, let's take a look at the accessories. First off, we've got his harvesting tool, which is a double-edged axe. Um, really cool-looking axe. Um, done up in uh, sort of a silvery paint. It's got some little notches on it, like it's been, you know, like wear and tear. Um, but, uh, and then like a Chevron logo up here on the top of it, which, I mean, I'm sure this has some kind of meaning in, in the game Fortnite. And one of these days when I get a chance, I'll play it. And maybe a lot of this will make sen more sense to me, but, uh, I know what a cool action figure looks like. And this guy's a cool looking action figure. Um, he's got sort of a, I don't know, blade Nick Fury thing going on. Um, but the the axe is a really, really cool uh, looking weapon, uh, accessory that uh, he comes with. And um, uh, it's very shiny, uh, very, very shiny. And then uh, we have his backpack, um, or his back bling, rather, um, which has two rockets on it. And apparently these don't come out. I thought that they fit into the gun, but I noticed when I pulled the gun out and set it up that it didn't have a hollow barrel. I just assume that these maybe fit into the gun, sort of like Major Blood has those rockets, but uh, no, these are in there, and they are not coming out. Uh, so I'm assuming, yeah, they're just rockets that he would have in the game and use with a gun that you pick up, probably a rocket launcher, obviously, because they're rockets. But uh, if you got one that's sort of a cream color uh, with some silver paint apps on the end there, um, and then this one is more of the color of the uh, axe, like a gunmetal sort of color. Um, you got some uh, painted uh, paint apps on the straps on the back of uh, this backpack. And then it's got a little peg hole. Even got paint apps on the inside of it where you wouldn't actually see it if it's on him. But, uh, I mean, it's a cool looking backpack, but I just kind of assumed it would be kind of neat if they would have made these come out and fit in the barrel of the gun, but, you know. There you go. And speaking of the gun, uh, we have a small um, automatic machine gun type weapon. Um, tend to be the weapons tend to be sort of cartoony, uh, which I mean, so do the figures. You know, the animation of the game, which is fine. Um, it's still they're still cool looking, but yeah, this one. Oh, the the sight seems to be it's very rubbery, so the sight seems to be bent towards one side. But, um, yeah, you got some cream color paint apps on there, a little bit of red on the magazine. Um, all, most of the, most of it's all done up in like a, like a polished sort of gun metal look. Um, cool looking little machine gun there. And then here we've got Renegade Shadow. Um, Renegade Shadow stands at approximately, he doesn't stand very well. <laughs> I've got to get those detents in the feet. Kind of lined up. There we go. Um, he stands at approximately six and a quarter inches tall um, where he's at. And um, he's just a neat looking guy. Um, got a fur collar, coat, goggles. Oh, do those goggles come off? Oh, man, the goggles come off. I didn't even know that. Wow. That's cool. That's a cool little feature. You can keep him propped up on his head if you want. That's really awesome. I did not know that. Very cool. Yeah, the goggles do pop off. Um, you can kind of slide them up and have them up like that if you want, or just put them down onto his eyes, or just take them off and not have them on at all. That is really cool. That's a neat feature. I did not know it did that. Awesome. It's always fun to find little things like that. Um, really nice. Uh, really nice sculpting. A very rubbery. It's more, it's not really a coat, it's a vest, but it sort of lines up with the sleeves. His arms has the sleeves of the coat on it, um, uh, sculpted on. And um, kind of goes into a black, almost like a leathery look. Um, and then this has more of a cloth look. And you got a little silver paint app skull logo on the back there. Um, bulgy pockets on the side there is where he keeps uh, all his uh, personal belongings. Um, you've got some straps going across the uh, chest and the belt right there. Got silver paint apps for the buckles. And you got that skull logo on the, uh, on the vest that he's wearing under the jacket. Um, as well as you've got, uh, got some straps on the legs um, that's got silver buckles on them. Down to the boots. Uh, the boots are just really just plain black. 
Um, but the pants have a nice everything's just I, they're they they make not all the figures that they make are cool, but um, you know I like the ones that I like. And when when I see one that I I really had never any intentions of getting Fortnite figures, but uh, uh, when I see one that I like that's cool, I figured you know this guy could go this guy could be you know a, a mercenary or a bounty hunter for Star Wars. He could he could be right in there with GI Joe. Um, he could be a, you know, a villain for, uh, you know, DC or Marvel. I mean, this, this guy, this guy could, he's just a multi-purpose character that could go on any shelf. Um, go on, going on our articulation here, we've got a, let's see, I'm going to pop those goggles off. I don't know if that is a, is that a, uh, standard neck or if, is that, that looks like yeah, it looks like that's a ball, uh, a ball on the end of the neck going into the upper torso, and then you've got either a dumbbell or a hinge up at the top. No, that's a dumbbell. So we got a dumbbell going from the neck into the head. Um, head will go all the way around. Um, you got pretty decent down, not really much back at all. You can get a little bit back, but that fur collar kind of holds it back there. Um, arms all the way around, uh, arms out to, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Arms way up. Uh, got a bicep swivel and a double elbow, um, to take you all the way to right there. And you're not getting any further than that. Um, and then, um, oh, wow. Actually, a lot of articulation on the arms, surprising. Um, got a wrist swivel, wrist goes all the way around, and left wrist is in and out. The right wrist swivel all the way around, and up and down, gun hand, yeah. Love to see that. Um, you've got, uh, ball joint mid-torso going into the upper torso for pretty decent ab crunch, as well as a ball joint going from the lower torso into the legs. Or even more ab crunch. You can get pretty decent down, not really much back because of the the coat, but that is a very soft rubbery coat. Um, it's not as not hard plastic. Um, drop down ball joint. Do we have a drop down ball joint? No, I don't believe we do. But you can get those legs way out there, um, and you do have a thigh swivel right there uh, with a double knee that goes all the way back to there as well as a boot swivel, um, detents in the feet, and a forward rocker. Um, really cool. Just a cool-looking guy. Um, I can't stress it enough. Um, let's put his back bling on, which slides in very nicely. Um, put his axe in his hand. And get it in there. Uh, um, the hands are very rubbery, so they bend out pretty easily. Put that axe in his hand, and then see how well that gun fits in his hand. Uh, you can always tell, like, a good weapon if you put it in their hand and that trigger finger goes right in, and his trigger finger goes right in. So, bring that. There we go. Get him back there a little bit. Really cool looking guy. Really cool looking guy. Um, very happy with him. Uh, let's pop him off the pedestal and line him up with some other guys and see how he scales up. All right, here we have him next to the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series, Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series, Zartan, the Hasbro Marvel Legend Series Retro Armored Daredevil and the Mattel DC Universe Classics John Constantine. Um, he scales up pretty well. He's a little shorter um, than most of the figures, but, um, you know, he can just be a short guy. Just because you're short doesn't mean you can't be powerful. Just ask Yoda. Um, but uh, all in all, I'm, I'm really happy with him. Uh, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I pre-ordered him, and he's going he's gonna to look good up on my miscellaneous shelf. Uh, with all my miscellaneous action figures that don't necessarily fit into one particular category like my Black Series or Marvel Legends or G.I. Joe Classifieds or DC Universe Classics and stuff like that. So, um, 
But at any rate, um, I'm I'm very happy with him, and uh, he'll uh, he'll I'll make a nice home for him up on my shelf. So that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digital Eerie Bastard Network. As well as join us on Twitter, Discord, and my TikTok by clicking those links in the bottom right-hand corner of the banner on our channel page. Become part of the DRN family. We will welcome you with open arms. You've been watching Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care. <laughs>